Hello, my name is Vindimus. In today's video, we're going to be learning uh, specif uh, specify how the fonts should degrade. Okay, link to follow along will be down in the description below. Let's begin. There are several default fonts that are available in all browsers. These generic font families include monospace, serif, and sans serif. When one font isn't available, you can tell the browser to degrade to another font. For example, if you wanted an element to use the Helvetica font, but degrade to the sans serif font when Helvetica isn't available, you will specify it as follows. P element, font family, Helvetica, and then comma, sans serif, semicolon. Generic font family names are not case sensitive. Also, they do not need quotes because they are CSS keywords. To begin, apply the monospace font to the H2 element so that it now has two fonts, lobster and monospace. In the last challenge, you imported lobster font using the link tag. Now comment out that import of the lobster font. Okay, whoa, 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 we gotta back up a second here. So let's bring in monospace, so comma, mono, space after the lobster font. Okay, and let's continue. So now we should comment out the lobster font link here using the HTML, HTML comment to use before from Google Fonts so that it isn't available anymore. So how do you do comments? Um, if I was in Python, I would do it like that, which I don't, I'm not, I'm confused. Okay, so we need help. I need help. So I'm going to click get a hint. As you should do if you need help. I don't remember how to do um, comments. So I'm just looking for that part here. Not family comments. This is literally no help at all. Yeah, yeah. You, you're not helping none. Uh, okay, so, hmm. To comment out in HTML, we're gonna insert this, uh, which I don't know about you, but I forgot how to do that. And at the end of it, we're going to do the two arrows, dash, dash, arrow. Wait, what? There we go. So now we just commented it out and you can see that we should now be using monospace. So let's uh, see if we are. We're gonna re-import it. Lobsters re-imported. You can see the red font, it changes over here. And I don't know why I'm talking like this. Anyways, dash dash, and it'll switch over to monospace. Okay, we got that. Whew, that was bugging me. Notice how your H2 element degrades to monospace font. Yes, I did notice that. Nope. If you have the lobster font installed on your computer, you won't see the degradation because your browser is able to find that font, which is pretty impressive. I'll have to say, thank you. Firefox, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, all of the, all of the ones that exist, Safari. Your HTM, sorry. Your H2 element should use the font lobster. Check. 
your H2 element should degrade to the font monospace when lobster is not available. Check. You should comment out your call to Google for the lobster font by putting this in front of it. Got it. They, oh, I should have just known they told, they told us in the objectives. You should close your comment by adding the two dashes and the arrow. Okay, now we're going to run the test now. And we're going to raise the roof. The roof. It's on fire. Sorry. Basic CSS. We're 18% of the way complete with this section of the certification course. Congratulations, everybody. And now you must submit your work and go to the next challenge. I will do the outro now. So thank you for watching. If you feel you learned something from the video or you like it, hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this, then hit subscribe. And I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you for watching. Peace out.